What it is, what's up? It's your boy, Tulano Tools, Uman Tala, and dude, I'm not a chef. I got my Machiavelli swag on today, which is kind of confused because I'm also wearing an overall like trumpies, but it's fine. It's not about swag, it's about food. What are we making today? Uh, a steak sandwich. And with me is one of the most important pieces of steak in the world. Why? It's called the T-bone steak. Not because my name starts with a T, but this particular steak has two cuts of meat, right? So when you're eating steak, sometimes you find pieces that are very chewy. You find yourself at least chewing for my seven minutes. Eh? That's because the actual muscle's been working. That's the sirloin. Then you get the fillet. So first, what we're gonna make is the sauce, mushroom sauce, right? And let me get my oven going. With that being said, a massive shout out to Samsung Design District. Little bit of oil. I watched this thing that said garlic is man-made and is actually not healthy and it's fake. I don't know how true it is, but I love me some garlic. Fresh thyme is what's up next. The only thing I don't like about thyme is that it takes time <laughs> to actually split the pieces off. I don't know if you can hear it, but already the garlic is starting to sear in the background. So one of the reasons why I started cooking is because ladies love a nigga that knows how to cook. You get your garlic going, already the aroma's coming through, the basil's coming through, the garlic is coming through. You want to fry your onion. I prefer red onion, less acidic, sweeter, uh, and it just looks sexier, man. You know, if you're going to get an onion, at least make it look like it's from Woolworths. Let that fry, then you want to get your pepper, salt. We're not pinching today, eh? One thing about the steak is if you're preparing it, it's got to be big nuts. Butter, be generous. You know, let that melt. Now, I went with thyme with the other one. This time, see what I did there? I'm going with rosemary, right? Let that melt in there. All right, mushroom time. One thing about mushrooms is they absorb whatever you got in there. If it's water, it's gonna disappear a little bit. If it's butter, it's gonna disappear a bit. So I start with oil, start with the frying as mentioned. Add your mushrooms. Chances are you're gonna need to add butter. Now, black pepper, be generous, bro. This is a thick cut. If you've got a slender mic oil, I don't know what to do it, you know? All right, now we need some actual seasoning. I won't tell you this. It's really good spice, but they ain't sponsoring a nigga, so. Tell y'all niggas do. <laughs> then, this has been high, I'm gonna lower it. Lower it to about one, or the closest thing to your lowest level, and then add cream. Be generous with that, don't be scared. Add garlic again, because garlic tends to disappear. Yeah, I kind of feel like if you have steak that is overcooked or too much, it's just, you might as well be eating cotton wool. So I'm gonna add butter, and a lot of people will be like, yo, dog, that's unhealthy. Butter has flavor. You use butter for basting a steak, bro. I promise you. Woo! You see that? I'm not a chef, but that was cool, nigga! <laughs> yeah! You're looking good, look at that. I've got some cherry tomatoes. I like cherry tomatoes because they're sweeter. Um, also, when you bite into it, man, it's just, it's just uh, I don't know what goosh is in English, but goosh is what you get. Start prepping with the bread, right? So, I think I'm gonna go for four slices because more than one people don't want to taste this one. Okay, cheese. Now, I'm not gonna melt my cheese because the heat from the steak is gonna do all of that for me. Uh, you can throw it in the oven if you wanna be extra. Now, we're gonna take the steak. Damn! <laughs> my hands keep burning because I got these particular things from... Uh, let me tell you the story. I'm chilling one day, né? and I get a random call from a lady saying, hey, I want you on Big Brother cooking. I want you to leave us something, right? Got the stuff, I was happy. That's ready. Juicy. 
juicy, nigga. Drip, 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 all right. So she got me these things, right? And then she thought because she bought me stuff to cook, man just say chola, or I'm gonna be in love. I'm pretty like I six the whole weekend, and I'm up. Then I lied and said I left my phone in Temba's car, but I had that phone in my pocket the whole time. Cause I mean, you bought me stuff to cook, you didn't buy me the rest of my life, you know what I mean? Went to go visit her, got there, and she was old as fuck. I mean, when I got there, she was playing gospel on a Friday night. There was a picture of her son, and that nigga had a beard in 2004. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh, nigga. You know what I mean? I'm gonna bring this to the side. Quick question, how do vegetarians do it? Look at that. Look at that. All right. Then, you wanna go in. So I don't like cutting up the tomato because I like biting into it and it's that good I spoke about earlier on. Rocket would have been amazing, but hey man. You add your lettuce if you want to. Just yeah, hey let's your pies. We ain't trying to be healthy, but there it is, man. For all the vegetarians out there, this is for you. But there you have it, man. Um, steak, mushroom sauce. I got uh, mozzarella cheese at the bottom. Um, the tomato, baby tomatoes or cherry tomatoes, very flavorful, very sweet. And of course, the Pie Bandai. Massive shout out to the good people of Jack Black. They've been uh, putting a nigga on and this particular one is really nice. It's called Jack Black CPA. So if you're watching a game, you're having a meal, it's gonna be more like better. Question is, who from the crew is gonna come and taste the food? Buenos dias, amigo. Buenos dias, my amigo. Yeah. Hey, okay, I don't, that's, that's as far as I know, dog. Have this a taste, looks, dog, let me know what you think. This looks so tasty, bro. You see that? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah? What would you change? Add, take out, put in. You see that? <laughs> yeah! All right. That is my edition of a steak sandwich. If you're watching a game, trust and believe. Remember, it was a T-bone steak. T-bone is always good because you get the best of both worlds. Sirloin, nefile tea. Had some mozzarella cheese, rye bread because it tastes better, uh, and cherry tomatoes. And yeah. of course, good old beer. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. If you want to hire me as a taster, this is officially <laughs> my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Massive shout out to the good people of Samsung Design Quarters. This kitchen is out of this world, man. Sparkling water out of the sink. Shout out to my boy, Mad Muddy Mike, for coming Anytime. through. Remember, my face, the dude, I'm not a chef. Design quarters. I said that, nigga. <laughs> <laughs>